Hello, and welcome to a special broadcast on John Bell featuring the candidates of the election of 1860. Today, we will talk about the election, speak with the candidates themselves, and tell you why you should vote for John Bell. Let's speak to our first candidate, Stephen Douglas. Hello, my name is Stephen Douglas. I was previously a senator from Illinois and am a Northern Democrat. I want the people of territories to decide for themselves if they want slavery or not. Douglas is considered a traitor because of his support of popular sovereignty. His debates with another candidate, Abraham Lincoln, gave him a bad rap. Now, our next candidate, Abraham Lincoln. Hello, my name is Abraham Lincoln. I was a former representative from Illinois, and I'm a part of the Republican Party. I want to keep together the Union and oppose the spread of slavery into new territories. Abraham Lincoln is not well known, nor is liked by southern states. Here is our third candidate, John C. Breckenridge. My name is John C. Breckenridge, and I am a Southern Democrat. I want to ensure that slaveholders can own slaves in new territories. To voters, John Breckenridge is considered young for a leader and not trustworthy. And now for the candidate of the hour, John Bell. My name is John Bell. I served in the House of Representatives from 1827 to 1841. I was a former senator of Tennessee from 1847 to 1859. I was once an ally of Andrew Jackson, but in the mid-1830s, I aligned myself with the Whig Party. By doing this, I earned the nickname the Great Apostate. I constantly battled Jackson's allies, specifically James K. Polk, over issues such as the National Bank and the election spoil system. After the death of Hugh Lawson White in 1840, I became the leader of Tennessee's Whig Party. I am currently a part of the Constitutional Union Party. I formed the Constitutional Union Party in the U.S. Our Constitutional Union Party is made up of former Whigs who wanted to avoid secession of the South over the issue of slavery. What are your thoughts on slavery? Although I am a slave owner, I do oppose the expansion of slavery. I am very much so against secession of Southern states because I want to keep the Union intact. I believe secession is unnecessary because I believe the Constitution protects slavery. I hope I win your vote, for I am a strong leader in what I am doing, and am the key to keeping the union together the right way. John Bell has lots of experience politically, and has clear vision for how we can keep the union together. Why shouldn't you vote for him? We'll just have to see the results of the election right after some John Bell advertisements, and others too. If I could just chime, chime in here to say, it seemed that the poll did not go well for our special candidate over here, getting only three states, Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia. 
with him in the second to last place behind Breckinridge and Lincoln, who had stolen the lead and triumphantly won the presidency with 18 of the states in his pocket. Maybe the bell will ring for him in the next election. Back to you, Jordan. Now that Abraham Lincoln has won, some southern states have seceded as promised. What does this mean for the future of the Union now? 